Hey everyone, it's Liz and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys three different curly hair braids that you can try for the summer. I love putting my hair in braids, it's just so easy and you know, yes, that is a toothbrush right there. All you girls and guys that have curly hair <laughs> know that you need to lay out your edges, okay? I'm still working on it. My edges are very busy, okay? Anyway, this is the first style. So we are doing a Dutch French braid on the side instead of just like two Dutch French braids. Two braids, just one braid, <laughs> okay? And how I can explain how to do a French a Dutch braid, excuse me, is by putting the pieces behind instead of in front. So like when you're doing a French braid, you know how you put the pieces in front of each other, but you're putting these behind each other. Um, I will link down below a few tutorials of um, how to do Dutch braids of people that explain it really well because obviously I'm not the best at explaining things. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, I will definitely do that and I will do I will link below the girl that I learned from too because she was really really helpful This is just a really easy style. I am just like In love with it because it's so easy and also it's really good when you want to deep condition your hair Because then you can just put it in a braid all day and then not even have to worry about anything and it's just gonna stay You know, it can be perfect so yeah, here I am laying my so-called edges, kind of. <laughs> like I said, I'm still working on it. Look how frizzy, I know, okay? But this is just way easy. <laughs> So this next style, I actually kind of made it up on the spot. To be honest, guys, I, I have to be honest with you guys. I was trying to do this really cool, like, crisscrossy braid kind of thing, and it came out, like, not as expected. So instead, I am doing this. So what you want to do is just take the bottom half of your hair. You want these little bitty elastics, so like those cute little baby elastics and you're gonna section off your hair. You're only gonna do two little braids like this, and then I will tell you the next step in a second. <laughs> yeah, this was so easy, guys. I am so amazed and so happy of how easy this style is because, I mean, all it is, it's two braids, or well, four, technically, because I'm doing two. Um, I'm doing pigtails. So this is the next step. And also you probably see me wetting my hair a lot and that's because my hair is like a sponge and it will absorb all the water and just go dry again. Sometimes, if I didn't, I didn't deep condition before this, that's why. But as you see here, I'm just taking the pieces and I'm crisscrossing them as, you know, what the video is showing and it's so easy and I thought it was so cute. And I thought like, wow, this would be really cute for a music festival or for a concert, hanging out with my friends, like everything, you know? So definitely try it out. If you try it out, let me know, take a picture and then tag me on Instagram or you can tag me on Twitter because I would definitely want to see your little crisscross braids. <laughs> It's kind of cool. It's kind of like a faux braid, you know? I don't know. I just thought it was really cool, guys. Am I, am I nerdy? Am I nerdy like that? <laughs> but anyway, you know, you can kind of go off of this style and make one, like, loopy braid. <laughs> I'm so bad at describing things. Oh my god. Um, or you can put it up. So uh, it can kind of go in many different directions. <laughs> So this last braid is actually super easier than I thought it was going to be. It's actually inspired by Ariana Grande because I love Ariana Grande, I think she's awesome. And um, yeah, so all you have to do is just part two sides of your hair to make this kind of faux mohawk <laughs> and then French braid it actually, well you can French braid it or you can Dutch braid it, I Dutch braid it because then you can see it a little bit better on my hair because it's kind of frizzy and stuff and there's me practically fainting because my hand is killing me. 
But yes, this uh, hairstyle was inspired by her No Tears Left to Cry video, and I wish I had her long, luscious hair, but unfortunately I don't. <laughs> I have curly hair, and I wanted to make a point because like, I see all these hairstyles that celebrities wear, and I think they're so awesome, but I have curly hair, and my hair does not do what their hair does. So I wanted to recreate it and show you a couple of different ways to style it if you have curly hair. Now this would obviously look 10 times better if my hair was actually dry, okay? My hair is not dry, so it's a little floppy, all right? But you can always do a classic messy bun, which is amazing, and you can just wear it as a ponytail as well. And that is it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my blog. It's theelizabethhope.com. All my links will be in the description box down below. And don't forget to follow me on social media. Alright, thank you guys. Bye! XOXO!